Hello and welcome to Inside the Mountain West, powered by Campus Insiders. I'm Shay Pepler. Currently, two teams, San Diego State and New Mexico, rank in the top 50 of the RPI. But that's just the beginning. Let's go inside the numbers. One, Colorado State's J.J. Avila is the only Mountain West player to rank among the league leaders in scoring, rebounding, and assists. 12 at 12 and 1. San Diego State is tied for the second best start in program history. The 2010-11 Aztec squad opened with a Mountain West record 20-0 mark. And 1,000. Boise State's Derek Marks becomes the 24th Bronco to score 1,000 points in his career. Let's check out the men's player of the week. It's none other than the stud senior guard from San Diego State, Xavier Thames. He averaged 19.5 points per game and three and a half assists per game while leading the Aztecs to road wins at Colorado State and Kansas. Speaking of San Diego State, let's bring in our San Diego State insider, David Gascon. David, welcome. Your 13th ranked Aztecs look to be rolling right along. They've gotten victories over three top 25 opponents this season. What did that win at Kansas do for the Aztecs? Well, Shay, I think the most important thing is it told the nation San Diego State's a team to be reckoned with. They really went into Kansas and shut them down, especially on the defensive end. They limited them to under 30% shooting, and they did it on their terms. And because of that, they get back in the top five, top 13 in the AP poll. And I look for them to dominate Mountain West play. They were a team that was supposed to be picked fourth in that conference. So far, it's looking sky high. Well, Wednesday night, San Diego State hosted one of its conference rivals in Boise State. What impressed you most about that victory? Well, I thought the three-point shooting from Boise State was rather off. They shot 4 of 17 from long range. Again, Xavier Thames and Winston Shepard each pitched in with 16 points. They raced out to an early lead. And for San Diego State, for them to win ball games, they have to dictate tempo. They got to a 16-point lead, never relinquished that lead. They got close to the end of the game, but that was a large part to free throw shooting for Boise State. But overall, an impressive performance. And the most important thing, they protected home court. You mentioned the end of that game. Boise State did keep it close. As you mentioned, the Broncos got within one with 55 seconds left in the game. What makes that Broncos team such a threat to the rest of the conference? Well, they hit you with the bras of shooting. And you look at two guys. Derek, obviously, Derek Marks comes in. He had 21 points in that contest, and he could shoot from anywhere on the court. Anthony Drimmick actually struggled in this game. He scored 17 points, but he didn't get those clean, open looks. And the team usually likes to play up in the mid to 80s. And when you talked about a Boise State team, they like to get in that track meet. If you don't allow them to do that, they can't dictate the pace of their game. And therefore, guys like Derek Marks and Anthony Drimmick can't go off necessarily. David Gascon, thanks so much for the insight. Thanks, Jeff. The next Mountain West basketball game on CI is Boise State versus Nevada, Tuesday, January 14th. Thank you all so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.